This is YSM Sports Media. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button for all future content. Show your boy some love, man. I'm out working hard. I need you to grasp this reality. You are looking at the best welterweight prospect in the last 20 years. Now, before the Spence fans, you know, come on here and jump down my throat. Real is real. Jerron Boot Tennis. 24 no, 22 knockouts. And he checks all boxes as a fighter. Size, speed, elusiveness, power, and boxing skill. Boxing background, very similar to Floyd Mayweather. Uh, dad, trainer, Bozy Ennis, uh, two brothers who had uh, good careers, Derek Poo Ennis and Farah Ennis. Sky's the limits for this kid. Now, the only knock is that he hasn't faced the best opposition. But the guys he had been in there with, he did exactly what he was supposed to do. Wash them. Easy money. The real question is, who's going to be the guinea pig? Who's going to be the first contender or champion to get this kid a shot? I'm guessing None. Unless he becomes the man, though. Um, right now, he's not backed by a big promotional company. And you know how that goes. The business of boxing is the business of boxing. The only way you're going to get big fights is if you become the mandatory or you got a powerful entity backing you. And he's high risk, low reward. The landscape of the welterweight division, it makes the most sense for him to sign with Al Heyman. And if not Al, you got Eddie Hearn. But as far as what PBC goes, there's a list of 147 pounders that he can uh, fight to increase his resume. You got you guys, Porter, Omar Figueroa, Robert Guerrero, and then you got the Danny Garcias, the Keith Thurmans, etc., etc. In about two to three years, I could see him beating the big three. Spence Crawford, Pacquiao. Uh, Pacquiao will probably be on his way out. Spencer Crawford definitely would be a tough task, but Boots will be smack dab in the middle of his prime, and they'll be two to three years older. As far as a super fight that I see in the future, projecting growth and, you know, how fighters naturally move from class to class, I would say him and Devin Haney would be something that I would definitely look forward to. So you let me know in the comments below, is this kid the next big thing or, you know, am I just hyping? YSM Sports Media, we out.